He yeah, wants his mama. Yeah. His big mama. His big mama. <laughs> we just want to be able to make a living and, and provide for our kids. And you know, I mean we're not we're not trying to get rich. We just want to be able to live out here and enjoy the land and support our family and we're glad we're able to make it available to other people and be able to support our families by doing that. Doesn't get any better than this. His big mama. Oh, they're getting excited. So Nick's been working with them for several weeks now. When we first get them, they don't have a clue what they're doing. But he he works with them and works with them. And when they get to the end, they have a little Oreo on the tray. Um, and so they're all trying to beat each other to that Oreo. And that's our little boy, Jack Henry. Nick's got him trained to help with this too. <laughs> Man, yeah. Doesn't get any better than this. I wish they'd have had their little outfits on. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. You have, you, you have uh -huh. people that cheer for the yes. kids. Yes, yes. Whoever the pig win, the cheerleader, they get a prize. And it's the... So when they're all excited, and whenever I give them a prize, it's a pig nose they put on. <laughs> Thank you, sir, for doing the race. That Thank was you. great. I'm trying to get them back. Yeah, I got them. <laughs> I gotta bring your Mississippi State hat. Oh no! Wait a minute. Oh goodness! Oh, I said a daughter to shake. She was in the band. Yeah, when Archie Manning was in, he was out Archie. there for the four quarters, and I was there during the half. Okay. My pickle <laughs> yeah, I mean this. Of course, this is all original fencing here. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. Who did your cow? I want to think you painted that a hundred years ago oh, now. I love it. That's very nice folk art. Yeah. Well, we taught art at one of the academy for about a hundred years. Oh, really? Before I lost my mind and got into politics. Uh -huh. That's very nice folk art. I love it. Where'd you get your um, miniature horse? Um, Somebody gave us that horse, didn't they? Uh -huh. Yeah, see, I mean, a lot of our animals, people... They had them or they couldn't take care of them anymore. They were moving or something and they just know that they'll be safe out here. Oh, wait just a minute. Excuse Wants me. to give him a ride. Right. <laughs> she said, mm -hmm. Right, please. Y'all are a good looking group. Fabulous. <laughs> Can't beat that. I think people would pay to see you ride Bonnie. Well, Jack, <laughs> Jack Henry had that same exact idea. He told his daddy. He's pointing at Nick. He said something about paying for to ride and right. Nick said well Jack you know we'd have to have somebody to train them and take them around and all and Jack said no daddy I was talking about people paying to watch me ride Bonnie <laughs> and I'd want to ride Bonnie. I know like, no, we can't go no mm -mm. our number one goal on the farm is safety and that's everything we do everything we build um, we think about the safety of the children because if something happened to a kid out here then it's all worth nothing to us because um, you know, the few times that people have had little accidents and stuff, it just kills us, you know, because we just want everybody to come out here and have a good experience and go home happy. The Mississippi law is here. Yeah, so we've got the little signs yeah. around. If you need other laws, that's why I ask if you belong to an association, because uh -huh. I do not mind introducing legislation uh -huh. that might help make your place right. um, more agreeable for y'all. Right. It's a wonderful, I think it's a great venue. Yeah, thank you. So when they get here, they park, and we'll have several people working in the parking lot to right. make sure everybody gets parked good. And right. they come pay admission right here. And then once they get in, it's just wide open. They can just roam around. It's just like being on a playground. We only really have like structure on school days. On school days, I have a tour guide with each group that takes them from station to station so that none of the groups are intermingling or anything like that. But on the weekends, it, they're here with their parents and they can just roam and play and just have some family time. Mm -hmm. They'll come in at 10 a.m. <laughs> we'll see them leaving at seven. Well, that's wonderful. Yeah, I mean, they just, no, for $10. This is another hot spot for 
for grandparents or mamas and daddies. They can sit on this little porch and just, they can watch them play for, in a lot of different spots. Mm -hmm. This is probably the most popular spot. This is the woods. That's what we call it. This one over here is actually two stories. You, it's got an upstairs in it. Yeah. Oh yeah. This kids. This one over here has got stairs, good stairs that go up the back that an adult would feel comfortable walking up. But we wanted ours to look like little cabins, little treehouse cabins, and this was all brush for years and we we just talked about how pretty this would be if we ever could clean it out uh -huh. and whenever we saw those little tree houses at that other farm we thought that's what we're going to do mm -hmm. so we got busy cleaning all this brush out and started designing the little tree houses and they were these tree houses were nick's baby for a whole summer you gonna fly, Caroline? Caroline. with Caroline. a kitten the leaves are okay. you i hope you get them <laughs> Look at the poor little kitty. Oh, she's got a good grip on it. <laughs> that was great. Yay, Caroline. That's a cool cat. Good job. They stand in line For to that. take turns on the rope swing. Isn't yes. That cool? They had never seen a rope swing before. Right. All right. So we call this one the magic carpet slide. It's 10 feet high and 150 feet long. 150 feet of fun. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's the magic spray. This is the magic carpet slide. Oh, okay. And that's the magic spray. Gotcha. That's what I was going to tell you. Here is the screen. Woo! That's Jack Penny. Whoa! Oh, boy. Here we go. Whoa! <laughs> So this is a corn cannon. A corn cannon? Nick built this. Oh, really? Yes. Took him forever. We I said, are you ever going to finish those cannons, Nick? We load them, load the cannons, uh -huh. and I then... The, I bet the raccoons love it because it's always exactly. the field. That's right. Here. Nick has to step on the pedal for it to be active. Uh -huh. And then he tells the children when they can aim and shoot. They'll only go a little ways. <laughs> few moments later. Yes. There it goes. Do you see it? Do you see it? Isn't that cool? Does the National Guard know you've got it? That sucker will go. That sucker will go. One more, Nick. That's what the daddies do. Oh, give me one more ticket. How much do you charge? How much is So one ticket is $2. You get three shots out of it. It's like a carnival game. Yeah. As a kid, or just my age now, just walk and run over these hills, you know, it's fun. I know it. Yeah, we'll look out and see children just rolling just down the rolling. hill. Uh -huh. Yeah. There you go. That's a great Every time I see them, I say, oh, I hope they don't find an ant bed. <laughs> you can see the worn down trail. That's the hayride trail. It starts down here. It takes a really pretty trip around the farm and stops at the pumpkin patch. And they can get off and pick their own pumpkin if they want to. Or we have pumpkins down here, too. The hayride trailers right here. Well, you got a sunflower field. We do, and zinnias. Sunflowers and zinnias out here. And you see the cotton field out there. So we always plant cotton there, and we usually pick that field last yeah. so that they have the opportunity to go see the cotton. And they'll take, people will come out here dressed up on a Saturday and do some family pictures and, the cotton. and then play. Well, y'all hop right. on, and Nick will take us for a ride around the farm. Okay. Oh, boy. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. This is great. It's a pretty ride. Bull bottom. Granddad bought it from Mr. Bull. That's correct. So this um, <laughs> land has been in the family since 1944. Mr. Bull originally owned this place, and Nick's granddaddy, Mr. Robinson, bought it from Mr. Bull. But the name stuck because they had called it the Bull Place. So the bottom is where Bull Bottom is. That's yeah. the low part. But if you go on up the hill. Um, where Earl's brother lived, who's passed away now, but that has always been Bull Hill. Bull so Bull Hill, Bull, Bull, Bull Bottom, Bottom, and that name just that. stuck. Yeah. The history is great. Yes. Right. This is bad. This yeah. is what's so oh, good about Mississippi. That's every, right. Every place has a story. I agree. Yeah, we put cattle gaps up here and then another one before you get into the pumpkin patch so that the cows could roam around because um, 
we realized some people would like to just ride and see cows up close. You know, this is when we just want to do some personal family time fishing. This is where we come. What you got in there? We've got catfish. Mm -hmm. Now, this is the real working farm part right here. The tires and the the tools, and it's not pretty, but it's real. Well, this was great. Yeah, I like that. Like yeah. Let me walk that far. This is the catfish pond. Somebody's got this one rigged up. Okay. Here we go. You can see them. Yeah. Oh, they're big. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we looked out here one day, and Jack Henry was out here with a bucket, and he was soaking wet. Is he getting any And one? he was trying to catch one. He finally caught one, and he was, you would have thought he had won the lottery. He I was bet. so excited. I love it. What's that floating? Somebody threw a little baby pumpkin in there. This is fairly new. So we added the, uh, last fall was its first, its debut season. Um, and it was a hit. They love riding the pedal carts. They just line up and on a busy Saturday, we let them take two rides around and then they'll, if they want to ride more, they'll have to come get back in line so everybody can have a turn. Jack, go hop on the zip line right quick and show them that. Show us, show us the, zip us the zip line. line. Five, four, <laughs> three, two, one, go! Oh, listen to the sound. Uh-huh. The sound effects, too. <laughs> oh, Jack. Right. Hope he doesn't drag the ground. <laughs> lift your legs, lift your legs, lift your legs! Woo! Wow. <laughs> it's, it's designed for 100 pounds or less. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah. I wouldn't make it on that. It's designed for 100 pounds or less. I, I stay off of it too. Yeah. Hey. But yeah, they love to come over here and I mean you can see how the ground's worn. They like to just come over here and and pick it and see what it feels like or they take family pictures out here or just you know, I think a lot of people just riding down the road don't realize how tall it is. Right. You know, when you're riding down the road it looks like it's this, you know, but you get out here and, and it's over your kid's head. This year we planted a little over nine hundred acres. Okay. Uh, you all in this in this area? In this area, Grenada to um, okay. south of Duck Hill. Okay. And how many acres do we have down here at Bull Bottom? They were asking me and I said that's a neat question. About 180, okay. So yeah. 180 My grandfather bought that's right. seven hundred and twenty acres in nineteen forty four. It's good y'all have it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 The yep. Lord's not making any more of this. No. So. Mm -mm. Uh, mm -mm. That's right. We're trying to take care of what we got. That's right. And y'all do. I mean, it's really a credit. It's yeah. an honor to the land on yeah. what, you're, what yeah. you're doing. Well, and to give to people the, the opportunity to come out and see what a real farm looks like that otherwise wouldn't know. Wouldn't know. Yeah, even if they live in Mississippi. You know, if you live in a neighborhood in Mississippi. That's right. Even though we're an agricultural state. Right. You still may not have ever been on a farm. I know. I know. So. <clears throat> You always have to be true to your history. That's right. right. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. So, but. People believe in the farmers. We don't have farmers, we don't eat. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. You got to take care of the farmers. Base, you got to have farmers. And man, they've got a tough job. They do. And this is what you need is a real farm, the big conglomerate. Right. Right. You know, I've, yeah. I've realized that, that they're money making machines. Sure. If you want real southern food, this mm -hmm. is where you Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, not that they don't love the land, but it's obvious y'all love yeah. this place. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. And there's For a connectedness sure. to your family history uh -huh. and all. I uh -huh. mean, 1944. Right. That was almost 80 years ago. That's right. I bet yeah. you couldn't dynamite him off of it. Uh-uh. No, he, I imagine he's here to stay, so here to stay. he'll have to pick a wife wisely. You gotta find you a good woman. That's right. She better, oh, yeah. she better like Duck Hill. She's, she's gotta, she's There'll be time for that. That's right. We won't rush. No yeah. rush. No good, rush. A good compliment we get all the time is whenever they're leaving, they say, thank y'all for doing this. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Well, and we're thank just they pay to come in yeah. and yeah. when they leave they say thank you. Yeah. Right. They pay yeah. us to come and then Right. Right. Well, <laughs> so, like what you're they wouldn't see it otherwise. That's right. right. That's right. But it's yeah, it's definitely a labor of love for sure. And Nick and I have been we started dating in 1999. Mm. So, I've been out here a long time too, but I'm from Grenada and my parents owned a small business too. We owned a um a meat company. My parents really? were the Eatons and we smoked our own yeah. sausage and hams. Yeah, wow. And so, anyway, we both grew up in, in families that own small businesses. And so, we just kind of well, grew up with that entrepreneurial. Small business is the backbone of America. Yeah. It's not the big, big 
Mm-hmm. That's right. Mm-hmm. That's right. It's mom and pop business. Yeah. It's like y'all. Right. Yeah. And we just want to be able to make a living and, and provide for our kids. And, you know, I mean, we're not we're not trying to get rich. We just want to be able to live out here and enjoy right. the land and support our family. And, right. um, you know, and we're glad we're able to make it available to other people and be able to support our families by doing that. Sure. Sure. But um, sure. anyway, that's all we're trying to do. Land is better off because. Well, and see, and you're lucky too now because you made a connection with Dr. Jones, and right. you might want some advice from Mrs. That's right. State. That's yeah. right. We can get you something. Yeah. You may want, yeah. You, there may be some legislation that would mm-hmm. help you. That yes. You want to tell me about? Okay. And we can work towards that as well. Uh huh. Because believe me, Mississippi, even though we have this component of casinos, and right. hotels, and all that stuff on the Gulf Coast. This to me is Mississippi. That's Kansas. right. So people me want too. To see real Mississippi. That's right. They want to get off the interstate. Mm-hmm. Which, what are y'all? Five minutes. No, no there. ways. Uh-huh. It's right there. Yeah, they mm-hmm. want to get off the interstate and yeah. see real Mississippi. Yeah. When right. friends of mine in Jackson say, "Oh, my daughter organized this trip. It was the best thing our family uh-huh. has done." Uh huh. And there were hundreds of people. Right. There. I'm thinking, I gotta go see this. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, our motto is bringing families together yeah. since 1944. That's bad. And that's well, it's a good motto. That's our that's our goal yeah, every fall. Ambitious.